clouds had rolled in over Collingwood. And unaware that Angelique has gone missing, Barnabas Collins has arrived at Collingwood for a rendezvous with Maggie Evans, the young woman whom he has bitten and whom he plans to make his vampire bride. Waiting for you, Maggie. You must respond. You must come to me now. Barnabas? Barnabas, what are you doing here? I came here hoping I would see you. Barnabas, it's difficult to understand you. Sometimes you seem so warm, and other times I, I feel I don't even know you. Maggie, believe me, please. Believe me when I say how much I care for you. Excuse me. Excuse me, Barnabas and, and Meg. Angelique is missing. Willie found her scarf when he brought my luggage in. Something's happened to Angelique. We have to do something. We, we have to find her. <laughs> no, my dear Angelique. I'm afraid no one will find you here in this mausoleum. And you see the glowing pentagram symbol? Ha! Huh. That holds you here. You see, I learned a little bit of the black arts myself. I've learned spells and incantations. That's why I have your mouth taped shut, Angelique, so you can't cast spells and incantations. I did install a little zipper so I can unzip your mouth whenever I want you to answer one of my questions. And I will have plenty of questions for you, Angelique. <laughs> How great are the mighty fallen. The great Angelique, my prisoner. <laughs> It is now daybreak at Collinwood, and a woman who was the mistress of Collinwood has disappeared. Angel Leek has been missing for almost 24 hours, and her whereabouts remains completely unknown to those left behind who are deeply concerned about her. My dear Dr. Hoffman, you have no idea how, how upsetting this, this is for me. My very first night from my long journey back, from sea, and something happens, Angelique disappears. She's not here. It makes no sense to me, Doctor. It Mr. makes no Collins, sense to me. Believe me, I know what you must be going through. I've looked everywhere to see if she left some kind of a note, but there's nothing, nothing. Not a trace. And no one here at Collinwood has seen her since she left for town yesterday morning to ah, go shopping. Ah, but you've given me an idea, Dr. Hoffman. I'm afraid I must borrow Professor Stokes. Elliot and I will go into town this morning and go by all the places where Angelique may have gone. Perhaps someone saw her. Perhaps she talked to someone. Perhaps someone knows something. She always liked to stop and have a drink at the Blue Well. We'll stop by there and see if anyone saw her or talked to her. Thank you. Good morning. This is WC Oil News. The town of Collins Port remains stricken with them. Now, Tender, I'm looking for some information. Uh, so this young woman, this young blonde lady here in this photograph. Have you seen her? Has she been in here yesterday, perhaps? And maybe one of the patrons here might recognize her. 
Perhaps if she was here yesterday, did someone talk to her? Did she tell anyone where she might be going? We are very concerned about this young lady. She's she's turned up missing. Clouds have moved over Collinwood. And a young woman, Angel Leek Collins, is held captive while the town of Collinsport, and the members of the Collins family, only know that she is missing. Her whereabouts remain unknown to Carolyn, after you and Professor Stokes have finished looking at that newspaper, I'd like to take a Quentin, look at it. Quentin, it's too. nothing but a rag, nothing but a tabloid rag these days. It's it's yes. gone downhill. Yes. yes, Professor Stokes is absolutely right. That newspaper isn't what it used to be. Tabloid. <laughs> Renowned socialite Angelique Collins is missing, been unseen for the past 72 hours. Her disappearance comes as a shock to the city of Collinsport. It's all over the local news stations, Mr. Collins. Surely if anyone's seen or heard anything, they'll come forward to you with information. <laughs> well, well, my dear Angelique, I brought you something to eat, and I brought you a portable TV so you can watch the news coverage about your disappearance. <laughs> yes, 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 you're quite the news story these days, Angelique, and you're going to be for quite some time, I suspect. <laughs> Darkness has fallen over Colin Wood, and not just the darkness of night, but the darkness of a missing woman. Angel Leek has been kidnapped by a descendant of the evil River and Trask, and no one knows where she is being held except for her captor with his demented intentions for the entire Collins. You know, I have been thinking Barnabas. I have been thinking of some way that we might locate Angel Leek. Barnabas? You once told me that when you were in parallel time, you once were able to establish a telepathic contact with Angel Leek by staring into the eyes of her portrait. Do you think that you could possibly attempt that now? Is it possible you could establish telepathic contact with Angel Leek and perhaps she could communicate to you where she is? Are you will to try, Barnabas? Are you will to give it a try, Barnabas? Are you? No, I, th I think you're... You you're absolutely right, Julia. Although Angelique and I have had our differences many times, she's been my adversary more than once. I can see what her absence is doing to Quentin and to the entire family. You're absolutely, you're absolutely correct, Julia. I must attempt to make contact with her. I will stare into the portrait. I will stare into the eyes of the portrait and perhaps I can telepathically contact her. Thank you, Julia. Let me look into the eyes of Angelique and know the truth.
time to leak that I must know. Closer. Closer.